from class 7 hemlock here to tell you about rainwater harvesting. Water crisis is now a major threat to the millions of people's lives around the world. With increase in population, decline of rainfall in many areas and changes in climate, it is the time that we understand the root problem and find a solution through it. Water is a precious resource for our future generations to get enough water for their daily use we need to start it to conserve it from today. This is a working model of rainwater harvesting. This is a collection tank in which the rainwater will fall. Then air is connected through a pipe to the filtration tank where the water filtrates and all the dirt that is some dust or stones gets filtrated here and the pure water is then passed to the well which can be used for daily uses like cooking, watering plants, gardening and many more. Let's see. This, suppose this is the rainwater. You can see that it now has fallen into the filtration tank where it is getting filtrated. Now you can see that it has been passed to the well where the pure water has been stored. This water now can be used for our daily uses. Then this is the filtration tank where the water was filtrated and this was the collection tank. Rainwater harvesting is collection of water in, in trenches below the ground in big buildings and in small tanks in houses and small buildings. Thank you and have a great day ahead. Good morning everyone. My name is Ayush Pandit. I am from class 7 Havelock. Today, I am going to show you solar power project. The energy which we get from sun is called as solar energy. Solar energy is a renewable source of energy. We should use more and more solar power projects to reduce pollution and to save the future of mankind. So now, let's take a look at my project. This is my solar power project. This is my solar powered house. As you can see. This is my solar powered house. Working on the radiation of the sun. This solar panel works on the radiation of the sun. When I block the radiation of the sun, the light gets dim, but when I don't block the radiation from the sun, the light gets bright again. Thank you friends. Hello friends, have you ever seen a volcano? No? Okay, today I will show you my volcano and also show you that how a volcano erupt. So let's begin. First, here I am using baking powder. Then, apple cider vinegar. You can see how it reacts. And a little and a little bit harpic. You can see how it rises up. You can see how the volcano erupted. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Isha Pulkarni from class 7th Havelock and today I am going to explain on topic respiration in human beings. 
During inhalation, the diaphragm moves downwards and chest cavity moves outwards creating space for air to enter the lung. When diaphragm moves upward, the ribs move downward and inward. The chest cavity is reduced and air in turn is pushed out. This is called exhalation. Now I have made a model to understand this process. In this model, when we pull down the rubber sheet, the balloons inflate. When we release the rubber sheet, the balloons deflate. When we pull the rubber sheet, there is an increase in the space of bottle. This leads to reduction of air space inside. Thus, air from outside rushes into balloons. On the other hand, when we release the rubber sheet, the space inside the bottle decreases and air pressure increases. This increased air pressure pushes the air out of the balloons resulting in their deflation. Thank you everyone. I am Kush Fulwani from class 7th Havelock and uh, as we all know that water is a life, don't waste it. So today I have made one beautiful project that names is water dispensary. So the materials required are one cardboard, one bottle, one straw and one disposable glass to flow of water. So we, uh, we are, you can see that this uh, stick is attached with the glue gun and uh, I will show this how it works. We can all see that the water is flowing. Now I will just off it and the water will stop. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is a homemade water dispenser. A water dispenser known as water cooler is a machine that cools or heats up water and dispenses with a refrigeration unit. Now let's see how water dispenser works. working like this. From plastic bottle it is getting into the glass. Thank you everyone. Greetings to you teachers. My name is Omthul. I am from 7 Hello. I have made a science project for science exhibition. I have made a quadcopter which is a drone. Abraham Karim is regarded as the founding father of drone technology. Some of the most common applications and uses for drone are in agriculture, for mining and product delivery. The materials I have used in this project are DC motors, propellers, wires, batteries, glue gun and some sticks. Let's have a look at it. Good afternoon everyone, I preach Vijay Bosley standing before you to explain you about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants make their own food. Raw materials needed by green plants are carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. Animals need food and human beings too. But how do green plants make their own food? By the process of photosynthesis. Hmm. Sun gives the light and plants take the water from the soil. Hmm. Animals and living beings are dependent on the green plant for the energy and their daily life sur uh, survival. 
As example, goat eats the grass and tiger eats the goat. Grass if tiger will be removed from the So this was the process how green plants make their own food. Thank you. Hi everyone, good morning. This is Sajan Mantri from Seven Thabla and today I am going to present a science project and my topic is a volcano. So first, let us see what a volcano actually means. A volcano is an opening in the earth's crust through which materials are thrown out from the interior of the earth. The materials thrown out include hot mountain rocks with ash and steam. After the lava cools down, we get big rock particles. According to the nature of eruptions, volcano have been divided into three parts. First, active volcano. Second, dormant volcano. Third, extinct volcano. Now, I am going to give you a rough idea of how I made this volcano. First, I took a plastic bottle and covered it with newspapers and gave it a mountainic shape. Then I painted it with the colors. Now I am going to give you an, an imaginary scene of how volcano erupts. For that, I am taking this funnel and adding this sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda. And now I am adding this vinegar to which I have already added red food coloring. And you can see that how volcano erupts. A very good afternoon to everyone present here. Myself, Silver Nirman, and I am from class 7th Havio. Today I have made a unique project for the match exhibition. It's quite easy to make circle, and that's called the circle draw robot. It helps us to make the circle very easy. Just we need to adjust the circle and the radius we need to draw of the circle. It's quite easy to draw. It helps us to make circle in schools, colleges or in anywhere or any time. So I just need to show you a demo of it. So you can see that the circle has very accurately got, we have got the circle very accurately and this can help us in our schools, in our colleges, in wherever we need to draw the circle. So the circle is very accurate or else if we need to draw any small circle, we can also adjust the circle in the, in the time of radius or the scale we can take and we can adjust that. 
So I hope you all like my project. Thank you. Hello everyone. I am Yash Bhandari and class 7th Havelock. Today I am going to show an experiment on density of water. So first we need two glass filled with the water, two lemons and salt. First we have to take a lemon and put it in the water. The lemon will go down. But because the density is very low, then we have to take a salt and we have to put three spoons. Then we have to mix it properly till until it dissolves. The reason is that after putting salt, the weight is increased of the water and, and density have become high. So, so this is a simple experiment. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Keshan Gupta. I am in class 7 Hello. My project name is Respiratory System in Human Being. There are certain gases in our surroundings such as nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. Human being needs oxygen to survive, which is done with the help of breathing. Breathing is a physical process that involves inhalation and exhalation. During inhalation, the diaphragm moves downwards and the lungs get filled with the air. During exhalation, the diaphragm moves upwards and the air from the lungs get exhaled. This is done with the help of alveoli, which are present in many big amounts in the lungs. Thank you.